Steve, Suffolk Sifter. Just got about an hour or so really, come out, it's a bit late in the day, it's about half past three. I've been shuffled off my normal fields, it's going to be a completely new adventure today. The normal fields have been rolled, seeded and I'm out of there. I've got permission to go around, there's a bit of a construction going on at the moment and I've got permission to go on the fields which surround this construction. The fields I haven't really touched on, one's got a really really long stubble, about 10 to 12 inch stubble, so that's going to be a challenge but at the other end of it there's a bit of bean, a very small patch of bean near a main road. I'm going to make my way towards that and see what happens. It's very windy at the moment so excuse if you're picking up any wind noise, hopefully Blixo will sort that out. Just over there there's one field which I haven't done before. Behind me is the long stubble and behind that is going to be the little bit of bean. So I'm going to walk that way. I don't think I should be doing a lot on the stubble because it's going to be difficult but the field just over there stubble ain't too bad so I'm going to go do the beans first come back for stubble and see how we go I should be using Gary's deep relic just so you can get the hear of the sounds so what I'm going to do is turn the speaker on the remote so hopefully you'll be able to get a good sound of what the deep relic is it's quite quiet anyway but then after that I should revert back to Gary's ultimate and I should do the beans and to say come back and do this I'm going to get kitted up thanks for joining me and I'll see you on that bean field. Excuse me for squinting, sun's really low and it's in my boat race. I just want to thank you, yes you, my new subscribers to Suffolk Sifter. There's been quite a few and I much appreciate it and your names will be scrolling from bottom to top at the end of the video. So, don't go away. Right, here we go, I'm on route, I'm going down, down, down there, there's a teeny teeny bit of uh, stubble, bean stubble. This is the fairly high stubble and we're on deep relic. Now there's, there's always a constant buzz. If you set it to how Gary wants it or how Gary uses it in threshold, it should be on five. There's always a constant like a radioactive buzz in the background. So I've knocked it down to two. And if you find something that sounds a bit like it's a bit of a sooty and swoop thing. I mean, as, as I said before, it's either marmite for you, you're either going to love it or not. I mean, I'm not. I can't. I don't like having a buzz in my ear all the while. I mean, that sound starts off nice, look. It's at 87. And peters away down to sort of horrible tones. So I intend to do this bean stubble first. I've not got a lot of daylight left really. It's, as I say, it's about quarter to four now. <clears throat> I'm just going to walk down here. Just above this fence line is a stubble field, or the, the bean stubble field. I'll see you there. Okay, I'm on this sort of rolled bean field now. The horrible buzzing sound you can hear is the threshold. You can knock it down a bit. Gary has it on five on his uh, settings, but I've knocked it out too. You're always going to have that in your ear all the while. Uh, it's a bit of a sooty and sweet thing when you do come across something tasty. I'll put a bit of lead down there somewhere. Must be spade. Here's the lead. You can hear that sort of a real howl. Now that's deep relic. Now, if you compare that with ultimate, well, I've knocked it down to about 11.6 kilohertz. No, personally, I'd rather have. Oh, listen to that. Peace and quiet. No buzzing all buzzing so I'm going to continue with Gary's ultimate because personally I don't like deep relic. Okay, sun is disappearing. I've got a well, 79.80 as I said I'm in Gary's ultimate now so I've knocked frequency down about 11, 11, 6, 11, 8.
been finding the lead so far. Also quite muddy, I had a bit of rain. Oh, I think that's just a button. It's a bit windy, so I apologise for the wind noise if you're picking it up. But it's just a, a plain concave four hole button. Just do a live one just for the heck of it because um, time's getting on. It's an 84. The ground's quite easy to dig. Right, it's in that little plug. It is a bit of a UFO, I think. Oh, I know what it is. It's a teeny, teeny little bolt with a hex, with a, not a hex, a square nut on the end of it. So there you go, a bit of rubbish. Just a couple of paces away, there's a 55 in here somewhere. Oh, I can see it. It's round. That's probably a button again. Without my eyes, it's a button. Yep, another button. Okay, I've got a 59 at the moment. I just dug up a little button just a bit further back there if I can get that in my pouch. Plenty of lead, plenty of four hole buttons. This particular button, if I can get it out, is a, I don't know, it's a little squish button. It's got some detail on there, but I don't you can see it, I can barely see it, but you can sit back, you can see where the eye was. Anyway, back to the 59. I can see it, I think. There. Hopefully there's a coin, I don't know. Nope, it's a button. It's a big, a big button. I thought it was a livery button, but alas, just looks like a plain livery sized button. Seventy six, seventy seven. What do you reckon? Lead, can slaw. just disturbed it, we'll have a look. That's in there. Oh, here we go. There you go. You can't go a detecting adventure without finding one of these. Look. Love little shotty. Got to dig them. This particular one is a nice 71 so you got to dig them <sighs> now, look at that sky well maybe way back to the truck and you've got probably slim to no chance of seeing what I'm going to be filming uh, lost me light I'm back at that other field I'm, I'm just gonna disappear off into the distance and come back and go home um, I'll have to come out early next time. So thanks for joining me. Sorry I didn't find a lot. It's been mainly buttons and lead and uh, a couple of UFOs I can't even see with my own eyes. It's too dark. I'm cold. I'll see you in the next one.